So let's look at how to expand some content or ideas that you have. And we're going to work today with some content that Deb sent over on how to, how do you make, use and simplify grocery lists. Um, she sent me this content and basically what I've done is I've just edited it and I've added um, this as the H1. So I formatted this as an H1 to let Jarvis know that it's important to me and also some subheadings here. So what we're going to do is we would work through this um, text section by section. Just to give you some context, these are some sort of thoughts that Deb had that she has dictated and then she's transcribed it and ed edited it slightly. But she wants to use this content in multiple ways. And we've already looked at how we can use this to uh, make a reel, an Instagram reel, and we've made a recipe for that. So now we just want to look at how we can expand this content even more so that uh, Deb can build an article out of it. So I've actually run this uh, prior to the demo just to give myself some stuff to copy and paste in. So I'm going to paste in here a command that I use a lot. So expand upon or expand on. Um, it should, in correct English, it should be upon, but Jarvis seems to like on. But under a subheading here, I've got expand on this idea to create a blog post section for the benefits of making lists. Now, obviously, I've added the benefits of making lists here because this is how do you make, simplify, or make, use, and simplify your grocery list, and this is making lists. So I ran this command and basically Jarvis gave me some really good copy. So making lists is a great way to organize your thoughts, keep track of what you need, make grocery shopping easier. Uh, when you make a list, you can focus on the items you need instead of worrying about what you need to buy. This can help reduce the amount of time you spend grocery shopping and it can also help you make, save money by avoiding impulse purchases. Another benefit of making this is it can help you stay organized. When you have a list of items that you need, it's easy to see when you run out of something and need to buy more. So. Here's some, you know, it's basically um, just uh, I've run the command and then hit compose a couple of times. I love the fact that Jarvis has included questions here. Are you overwhelmed with having to go grocery shopping? Do lists help or are they too much work to make every time? Comment below. So that means that you could take some of this and um, make these as individual Facebook posts. And these are a little call to action here to get people to comment on your posts. Do this actually help when it comes to buying grocery shopping? Do they help you focus on what you need and avoid impulse buys? So that's basically repeating what you've said, but now you're repeating it as a question. So you, again, in this context, you're asking for people to comment below on your um, article in the comments or on your Facebook post. I for one love making lists. My family always asks me, what are you making a list for this time? Because I always have a list with me. Okay, so as you can see, that's a really easy way to expand. Now, I don't expect you to trust me that Jarvis creates amazing content every time. So let's just run that command again. And you can see that happen live. It's hard to believe that making lists was ever considered a bad habit. But for years, the list making process has been <laughs> maligned as being too simple and not productive enough. We know this couldn't be further from the truth. Making lists is one of the most powerful tools you have in your arsenal for taking control of your life, managing tasks, increasing productivity and even saving money. How do you make use of grocery lists? How does it help with overwhelm? What are some tips you can share on how to find what works best for someone when using to do or not like it? So, again, what I would do is I would... To get Jarvis to keep going, I like the call to action here, but I'd like a little bit more meat on the bone here. So I'm just going to put the cursor at the end of here and ask him to continue that thought. Okay, so now Jarvis is getting a little creative, but I like that. So I have a list on my phone, but it's also cute to have a little notebook because some people do like pen and paper. Not everybody likes to use an app or their phone or whatever. So I'd encourage you just to keep hitting compose and see where Jarvis is going to go. Now, at this point, as you can see, he's just started to repeat the pattern here and try and create his own command. So we'll just delete that. So another way to make a list. I love that. Let's do it on your computer and then you can email it to somebody. It's a little repetitive, but so as you can see, you can just keep hitting the compose button here. And then you can just edit these paragraphs to pick out the, the best bits that you want. Okay. 
So that command was expand upon this idea to create a blog post section for the benefits of making lists. And we could do that again here. So we had some more content that, or the next subsection here using the lists. Now, I would definitely advise editing this content first. And the reason being is that Jarvis has a look back of around 600 words, it's 3000 characters, that's around 600 words based on uh, an average of five characters per word. So you don't want all of this sort of higgledy piggledy unedited text and old commands in here. So if you edit this section first before moving ahead, or alternatively, what you can do is you can copy this up here and then paste it under your title so that Jarvis is only referencing this point. The problem with that is that then your article is going to get very messy and very bitty and you'll probably lose track of where you're going, to, where you're going. So let's undo that. And then the last option that you have here is you could just um, add the three asterisks here which means that Jarvis doesn't actually look back at any of this. So then what you could do is you could literally just take your H1 here and copy it in so that Jarvis knows this is the H1 that we're talking about. And then we're going to ask him about, to expand upon this idea to create a blog post section for the benefits of using lists. So we've had the benefits of making lists. Now we're going to ask him for the benefits of using lists. And I run my commands with control, shift, enter, so that I can leave the command in place as you've seen, so that I can run it multiple times. So everyone is familiar with the idea of a grocery list. It's something that we spend time on when we run out of things or need to remember what else we need at the store, but how do you make and use and simplify your lists? When I run out, when I run out of something that's a staple, I put it on my list. I'm referring to a recipe if I'm referring to a recipe and need something, I add it to the list easy peasy. If there's a conversation I need to have with somebody that I see periodically and don't want to forget, I put that topic on the list. People have gotten used to this and ask what my list is for. What's on my list for discussion? Now that is word for word, really, what um, Deb had said in here. But that's okay, because we're asking Jarvis to expand upon it. So now let's see what happens if you hit compose. Jarvis is going to continue that thought. Okay, so we've got a little bit of repetition there, so let's just go again. Okay, and we don't need the command, thanks Jarvis, we'll, we've done our own. Okay, let's just... Keep editing and keep generating. Oh, now we've hopped over to Reels because we were talking about Reels in this content before. <laughs> oh, here we go. What are some apps or website that's, websites that you use to help you stay organized? There are many apps or websites out there created to help us keep track of things. Here are a few of my favorite. It's going to say Evernote, we just know that. Evernote, Pinterest, Todoist, Asana, all of these great tools to help you stay organised. You can use them for so many different things too. See, this is incredible. So once you've steered Jarvis, just asking him to expand, then he will just continue to spit out the content just by hitting compose. It doesn't have to be difficult, it's just sending him in the right direction in the first place. So you could just use this to build out these sections to create an article. So um, that's working on the basis that you have a, sort of an idea of your article structure already from your original content notes. I hope that helps. Mm -hmm.